My name is Doc Philip Ellis Jr., better known as the first militant of professional baseball. Growing up in Los Angeles, California, I knew about drugs. I had seen drugs and, and, and played around with them, and I knew what they, what they were. It's like the first time I dunked a basketball, I had dropped three or four Red Devils and drank a half, uh, uh, a, half a bottle of Thunderbird wine. And I laid the ball up, and that was the basket right in my face. I said, oh, man, I'm way up here. And everybody hollered, dunk it, Doc, dunk it. <laughs> you get to the major leagues, and you say, I, I got to stay here. What do I need? Oh, yeah, I need some of this shit right here. Because this shit will get me going, oh, 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 I can smoke dope and run all day long. They want me to run? Hell, I'll run all day. Give me a joint. Let me smoke a joint. They used to have to say, go get Doc and tell him to stop running. No, I'm not embarrassed. These like old, cheated. their older guys taught me how to cheat. Because when I first come up, I threw kind of hard, but when I was cheating, I was throwing harder because it was getting there quicker because I was closer. I could wind up and it'd be two feet in front of the mound and you wouldn't even know unless you was watching me. One of the pirate pitchers taught me how to do that in the stretch and wind up. Come here, kid. Let me show you how to get a little edge. <laughs> Well, they've always been cheating, man. I used to play with guys who would tell me to break their bats so they could go up and lay down a bunt. You have a dead bat. So when the ball hit a dead bat, it died. You could put it wherever you want to put it. In Forbes Field, we had cement. Your stuff was like cement. Hard Georgia clay dirt in front of the mound. If they hit that ball, it bounced straight up. The fast runners, all they had to do was hit the ball. They slap down on the ball, the ball goes straight up, and they haul ass. You know, I learned all these tricks from guys who could run and, and play baseball, and their part was to steal a base. So when we'd go into another town, other towns would water down first base, have it muddy over there so they can't get a jump. You know, I started up stepping uh, one foot. Then I said, I can get away with two feet. Winding up and in the stretch. Then he was trying to show me how to throw a spitball. Slippery elm. I didn't know what the hell is slippery elm. It's a piece of wood that's slimy. And you have it in your mouth. Gaylord Perry, you know, they wanted to strip him every day. You, they, they couldn't find nothing on Gaylord because Gaylord put that hot stuff on him. And you couldn't get close to him anyway. I put some stuff like that on my arm about that much. It like to burn my arm off. And he used to put two or three tubes on. He was throwing like the Bengay. There was no Bengay. It was like a uh, atomic bomb stuff. I'm serious. You put it on your body, it'll burn your hole through you. And he put it all on his back and on his arm. Two or three times a game, he would load up with another tube. I mean, he's a hell of a pitcher regardless. But yeah, that, that little ball that went crazy enhanced his career, yeah. Oh yeah, after he got older, couldn't get that leg up real good. He caught me in the locker one, in his locker one day and almost killed me. <laughs> Squeezed me so hard, I said, Gaylord, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I was in there trying to find out where he had the stuff at. <laughs> you know, you can't find that stuff.